Welcome to a Psycho Squad Gaming Club role-playing episode. This features mature adults using mature language. If that bothers you, stop listening now. Enjoy our game and remember, alter reality on a regular basis. Okay. Mm. Just wondering if you had something stupid out or if you were... Uh, was it a rifle or a... You know, I got range on. Flamethrower, I don't know. No, nope, that's the trap. Yeah. Whoops. Um, so probably your ACR or your spec yeah, or something like that. Yeah, the ACR. Okay. Which is what I have slung right now. I have that wall rocket out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and your hand-to-hand -hand weapon is the oversized lug wrench. That's funny as heck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the lug wrench? Yeah, he has yeah. archaic hand weapon 3 oversized lug wrench. He's <laughs> on mechanic <laughs> lug wrench. Right. Cool. <clears throat> it's, one of those, it, it's one of those industrial size diesel lug wrenches. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they're like 5 feet long. Yeah, yeah. It has, has has like the two inch uh, socket. socket on there, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> More like a two foot socket. Oh, it's a yeah. two inch drive. Right, it's a two inch drive. Yeah, I guess so, they're about that big. Yeah, yeah, they are. Oh yeah, yeah. I played with them enough. No, I was just realizing like the our one inch socket was like. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. They, they're they're big, but these are made by Fox. So we like bigger ones. <laughs> they gotta have. Has like the you know the the it's it's a two inch it's a two inch ID cast but it's set in like probably a four inch. <laughs> yeah, the word craftsman. Right. Oh no, it is. <laughs> yeah. It is. <laughs> craftsman, man, you guys buy cheap. What about Snap On? <laughs> snap On won't deliver out here. Now Sears, they're all over it. All right. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Snap on was like, we can't afford the intergalactic travel to get to get to there. And, but Sears said, we can take a truck. <laughs> <laughs> we have a shuttle. We'll get it there. They they order a lot of tools. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why Snap on wouldn't come in, man. What is the other? Uh, the uh, other yeah, but through the truck. Uh, the oh, Craftsman, you've got Snap-On, and then what's that yellow one? That's what I was trying to think yeah. of. Yeah. Um, you can't buy them in stores. You can only buy them Oh, the, the by, like, by renting them and stuff? Yeah. Uh, you don't no, know. No, no, no. no they they're like trucks that drive. They're like lease to own. It's like lease to own yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, you know, have to make monthly payments yeah. for Which for you do truck. with Snap-On also. Right. Oh, that's oh you can outright buy stuff. Yeah, but trust me, as a mechanic, and the price that Snap-On charges. Oh, yeah, I know. You yeah. make quite a few monthly payments on them. Yeah, oh, I know. So, <clears throat> all right. So, Jimmy Bob. Um, I saw the truck like three yeah, days ago. Know. It's cruising by a tire shop. Well, we oh, you Not have sightings. So you get to add. Here. I need you to. You're, you're making a sighting check. So you know it's your vision plus your sighting and. And you get to add your modifier for your scope, which you're using the the Brett 82 sniper rifle, right? Correct. <laughs> so actually, we just take the. Um, it doesn't say what the. That's built into the UAN. Okay, it, really simple. Take your bonus. Mac. We're, we're, that, that, Mac tools. That's it, Mac. Mac tools. That's the other one. Yeah. Take your Sorry. take your bonus of plus fifty two. Add your sighting and your vision. Okay, so that would be uh, fifty six uh, seventy six. All right. Add um, just a base of fifty percent for the skill for the. <laughs> Skill attempt and roll and give me a uh, metric uh, ratcheting box wrench. Give me what you make it by. Basically. Go for it. 
to a there's a small company in town that has a right. here. Dino, they actually made 79. So what's the what's the UAN? Like a hundred something? Uh let's see, 70, 76 plus uh one fifty is yeah, one twenty six. All right. Yeah, level five. Yeah, level five. All right. So level five, you're able to, um, you don't see anything definite. You don't see anything definitively, but you think that you you have the uh, tree area in which everyone is making the the ruckus in. Um, you're able to follow the uh, the smoke exhaust through the trees and stuff like that, and you're you're watching that. You think you have the right area that you're watching. Okay. All right. So. All right. So back over. Back over there, the um, uh, roll for Blackie. He's duct taping now. He's trying to make his uh, his eight second duct tape. Hot oh, four. Oh my God. <laughs> Legs and hands and neck. Yeah. Hot side. <laughs> right. He is. He's. He's now. He is now doing the duct tape hog tie of the Orion in armor. I might add, your armor doesn't let you bend enough to be able to be hogtied that well, so this boy's hurting. <laughs> well, it's a good thing Blackie had practice earlier today. Right. This guy's wearing AKMB armor, and he's being hogtied. And not for much longer once Blackie gets done. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm just saying, if you're being you're being duct tape hogtied in AKMB armor, it's... it's and your armor is damaged. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Didn't know the joint bent that way. It doesn't. <laughs> it, it, it does now. <laughs> Hate to be the see the repair bill for that one. No one's gonna ever claim the repair bill on this one. He ain't gonna make it. <laughs> right? Right. Right. Okay. So uh <clears throat> yeah, the unmistakable sounds of duct tape being Pulled from a roller really fast. <laughs> not pretty. Just not pretty. In in between the pauses, of, it's okay, my pretty. It's okay, my pretty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, right? yeah, yeah. Black along with the like, crazy eyes and his tongue sticking out. <laughs> right. <laughs> in a direction. <laughs> in a direction. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Short while. Right. Right. Black. He's sitting there t- cooing him and telling him. Shh, It'll be all right. It'll be all right. <laughs> Put the lotion on his back. <laughs> I don't think he's putting lotion on his back. He might be through uh, being excited. Um, <laughs> he's like, I have corrosive protection layer on my armor. It won't stick. Anyways, that was that was. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> this is where James is supposed to say, "That's not right." <laughs> <laughs> it is it though. <laughs> All right. So the rest of you guys don't see anything. You're going through the uh, the tents. Tents are empty. No one else is around. Not even like a sleeping bag. Well, I mean, there's there might be there's sleeping bags. Okay, so like one a- tent is bigger than the other. Pinky May's tent is going through a a pup tent that looks like it's made for obviously an Orion. He's got some personal effects. There's a sleeping bag. The other tent is it's made He's for some bong. <laughs> the other tent is made for someone bigger, and the contents of the tent suggest um, Fentari. <laughs> but you guys don't see him, so. Mostly because he's made his skill rolls and he is now going, oh, oh, it's such to be the Orion. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, hmm, yeah, let's turn that option on and let's back away slowly from the chaos. <laughs> I can't take on this many bunnies at once. <laughs> we have no hope of making it off this planet. <laughs> 
Well, he is. He, he does have some private communications. We're like, we just uh, got a flatline signal from our ship. We're trying to raise. Hold on, there's might be some interference or uh, something's going on. So just hold on. Yeah. Okay. It, well, it's one way to put it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Solar flare. Yeah, that's that's the ticket. Yeah. Yeah. They don't know what happened to their ship. Their base communications just said, we're not receiving a signal from the ship. <laughs> so they're, whoever's handling the base station communication over at the house is going, well, that's odd. It just flatlined. <laughs> <It's scratching. Yeah. laughs> What's wrong with this crap? Did you have to use that term? And I told you not to buy Radio Shack. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Told you we had the wrong type of boosters on this here thingamajig. <laughs> What's wrong with you? All right, so none of you see really, none of you find or see anything else while uh, anything else you guys uh, are, are going to do. Well, she's got an idea. She's probably out there hiding in the tall grass or something. Orion? I'm going to look at the tall grass for danger. Hold on. So, uh, Cletus, you're in charge. What's your orders? I look at Jay and say, where in the hell's the other one? He might be, I don't know. He must. He, he must be out. Which means we're, we're going to have to find him. It's going to be a pain. But he's he can't be that hard to find. This would be a good job for some of your other clans, buddy. Go hunt this bad boy down before he can go get the gig, get the news of this gig out. Well, i got to get over to the house to get to him. Let's find this guy first, and then we'll get over to the house. All right, let's get it. Let's get it shaped up. Anyone here know how to track? <laughs> I got one level tracking. <laughs> uh oh. Blackie got. Oh god. Blackie is got busy. Three levels. Three levels of tracking. Okay. I got five. You beat my one level of tracking. So, anyone beat three? Five. You're higher. Five. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you son said the magic words. <laughs> so you're gonna let it know that there's a Fentari running around there. That's what everyone's looking for, right? Yep. So, all right. <clears throat> Don't make the roll yet. You're just starting to get set up and stuff. Um, Jimmy Bob. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, same roll, please. Okay. 40. That would be uh, level 8. Ooh. That's, 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 getting, that's getting good. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, you think that... Uh, By one of the trees out at roughly around sixty or so meters out there, um, by one of the trees, you thought you saw what looked like some sort of blur, but you can't really zoom in on it. it just something you, you thought you saw. Right. You're like, uh, 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 I think I saw something. <laughs> I think I saw him, you know, give his little, give the little uh, location for his butt. Someone put a rocket out on that tree if, if he don't reveal himself <laughs> soon. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> How are you thinking? <laughs> Anti-tank. 
That's why I was going to say we could put a tree shaker out there. <laughs> you only need one when you only need one ping when you're yeah, using the law. Man, this is gonna turn into like Groundhog Day. <laughs> so um, see, so Jimmy Jimmy Bob's all like out there about 60, 65 meters out. There's a big tree. He explains this tree that's sticking out there. Um. Uh, Range bracket, it's a range bracket two for a law rocket. This ought to be just entertaining as all heck. Uh, one ping only. Well, it's a law rocket. You only get one ping, but most of the times that's all you need, right? Yep. Hold on. There's... When you can, it says the very best. Um... Okay, I can trying to get to I thought they hadn't any anti-tank, they don't. It's not a mine. Missiles! Oh, yeah, they have it underneath missiles. Okay. So, oh, look at Law Rocket Range Bracket 2 has a base of 60. Mm -hmm. So, do you already have a UAM for that one with your skill and everything? 60, 61 plus 1 level 71, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's not 10% per level of uh, skill, it's 4% per level of skill when it comes to. How many levels of... I just have one on direct. On direct? Yeah. Okay. So like in the 64, what's your range bonus on your manual decks? And then manual decks, range attack is one. Okay. So it would be 65. There you go. So you have a UAN of... Your UAN is 65. Now there are some modifiers because you're shooting at just basically a tree. Right. That's not moving. Right. Right. So uh, go for it. Uh, level three. It's not off the level. Yeah, well, 34. Give me a percentage. 34. 34. Okay, that hits the tree. So. <laughs> Which is all we were looking for anyway. Right. Uh, just roll me a D8, multiply it by 10. The damage is 10 through 80. We're not going to roll 10 eight-sided dice. Actually. 20. All right. So the rocket lances out there. Blows, blows up a tree. This is going to be interesting. Um, <clears throat> Law Rocket's got a pretty impressive uh, explosion uh, radius to it. <laughs> I'm just going to get it. 50 50 base. We're just. You're right back. Under 50. Ot 7. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, Mr. Fentari was like. Let me hide behind this tree! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a D6. 1. Mr. Fentari was one meter away from the tree. <laughs> <laughs> and he had no idea they were out there, did he? No, he had no idea. He had he had an idea that the group was they pulled up in the truck, he was in his little hidey hole and he was watching the field and the Orion said, Hey, the truck is coming and you know, and he was like, Alright, fine, just watch whatever they do because apparently, you know, the Fentari was in charge of what's going on here, so he was all like, so he, he was, he, he's in his AKMB armor, and he's, uh, set up, and his, uh, he's got his whole ghillie thing set up, and has his, uh, weapon, his, uh, weaponry, uh, set up to do his snipering thing, because he's, he's the sniper, and, well, him and the Orion, both the snipers, the, the Orion is more of reconnaissance infiltration, the, Fentari was is set up to be the uh, 
set up to be the uh, the actual uh, trigger, if, if anything. And uh, well, he, he he just had a law rocket explode right next to him when he moved. He moved away when he heard all of a sudden these bunnies jump out, and the Orion went, "Hey, what the?" <laughs> and he's like, "Wait, that's a, that's, a, that's a weird kind of a sound for an Orion to make." Is <laughs> <laughs> right, Chris? That's right. <laughs> so then he saw uh, all these bunnies just jump out of the truck. He's all like, I think we've been bamboozled here, boys. So he went immediately to radio silence and turned on his camouflage unit and stuff and started backing out of the area. I'm going like, I'm going to be over here and making sure they don't, they don't know where I'm at. Being Mr. Quiet like, and, and it wasn't fast enough. Right. And now I'm getting blown up. <laughs> and now I just took parts of a law rocket that just blew up right next to me, which is AKMB armor is in no way able to take that kind of the thing. impact of a law rocket, especially from just three feet away. Yeah, he's going to be picked up and tossed. Gee, Bob, you're going to see a Fentari going head over heels out into the field. Bugs. <laughs> 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 you just see it. Wah! Boom! <laughs> He's going to land. I think uh, he took care of the Fentari. And there's your target. Uh, uh, right. <laughs> Look, target. Found it. <laughs> Everyone else in the main group off to, off to the right about... Uh, Roughly ten or so meters through the through the tree line, you're gonna hear a large explosion. <laughs> oh, see it too. Yeah, they're gonna see it. Yeah, just boom. Found the fan. And then through the radio, <laughs> you guys are gonna hear. Found the fan. Follow the explosion, probably. <laughs> That ain't good. <laughs> yeah. So, uh... Well, that's one way to take care of problems. Right. So, uh, Zeke, what are you doing? I'm going to go make sure this fool's dead. All right. So you're running over that way. Okay. Uh, Ticker is back with the group, and he's probably like, oh man! <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so, Barney? <laughs> yeah! <Wow>. <laughs> Look at that! It's pointing there, Jimmy Bob. <laughs> He's all yours. Alright. If he gets up, I'm going to ping him. Uh, Blackie? <laughs> Mounted position. <laughs> Probably starting to work on the armor now. Yeah, yeah. He, he's pulling the helmet off. Roll a percent. 33. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, face! <laughs> Not in the face! <laughs> <laughs> He pulls, he roughly pulls the AKMH helmet off of the Orion. The Orion's like, ah, uh, hey there. He's got a head calm off. Well, not really. It's just got yanked all off haphazardly with his helmet being pulled off. I can see Blackie. You want to squeal like your other buddy? <laughs> You're going to squeal for me something painful. Um... Let's put this up to chance. I'm going to roll a percent. If I roll under the 35... He lost it again? No. Oh. No. This is the percentage chance of gender roll. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Less than 35%, this Orion is female. Okay. I think that's more than a fair assessment. Yes, it is. So you're, you're, you're talking just about galactic, yeah. all kinds of percentages of sure. who is going to sign up. I'm just saying there's a 35% chance this Orion is a female. 48. Nope, he's looking at a, he's looking at the Orion, an Orion Trans, male who is transgender male. <laughs> male. Good. But that's okay because of our new socialist society we've set up. He can use any bathroom, bathroom he, he wants. wants. Right. So. You haven't been paying attention to the news? Target said it's okay. Anyone can go to any of their bathrooms now. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. I saw that on Facebook. Yeah, right. Like, <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'm like, oh, I don't care. 
So there is absolutely nothing that could possibly go wrong with letting men into a women's restroom. All I know is that with my carry conceal, if I go, if for some reason I go to a Target and I see a guy walk into the bathroom after my wife and daughter go in there, you can bet someone's about to get shot. So you're I'm gonna just go, saying. You're going to go in there right behind him. Right. You go like, you, sir, have some issues, and we're going to take care of them right here, right now. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm about to exercise my personal right. <laughs> so <laughs> that's where we stand on that one right okay, there. I, personally, I think it's just weird. It's like, <clears throat> whatever. So he, he is uh, duct taping the, uh, the Orion now and applying the ability for him not to communicate on the radio since it just got pulled off of the helmet. And Otherwise known as his ball gag. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> well, yeah, the Orion's not happy because as soon as he was pulling that off, he, he, the Orion was already um, talking to someone on the radio, and now the radio's been pulled off, and he's like, ah... Uh, Hi there, I... No, there's no need to... <laughs> <laughs> right. uh -huh. Chris, what's that sound? That. <laughs> <laughs> so somewhere at the... At the house... At Nelson House is someone who's all like... Uh, say again, Orion 1, can you say again? Well, we just got jumped and I... Ow, ow, and this is... <laughs> static, static, static. Uh oh. <laughs> what did the Fentori say? Fentori has not broken radio silence. Or right, bring him up on the radio. I've been trying, but there's nothing that's coming through. <laughs> 20 points of explosion damage to all seven locations in AKMB armor? Yeah, he's pretty dead. That, that's going to wreck your day. He's jelly. <laughs> So Blackie has his fun. Pinky May, what are you doing? I think she left. Oh yeah. yeah Never mind. So alright. So Jimmy Bob, you are scanning the impact zone of uh smoking Fentari, right? <laughs> yeah, just making sure he ain't getting up, you know. It doesn't look like tricky. He's, it doesn't look like he's getting up, but all you can see is smoking, smoldering you know, with, uh, well, lots of smoke that's coming from the weed, from the field area that he, that he hit. But you don't have a direct visual on the body. Okay? Yeah, but if he gets up in that area, he going to yeah, get a ping. Uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> all right. Uh, Cletus? We have someone going out to go find the Fentari, correct? Yep. Yeah. Z Zeke, Zeke the Zeke the Font KKK member <laughs> is uh, going to go check on the alien. Well, well, That's the right out. guy you want to send out, I'm sure. <laughs> well, I'll send. I'll send Pinky. Though. I'll send Pinky with him. All right. So you're going to yell out to make Pinky go. All right. Good enough. And Jack, what are you doing there, Jack? You know, I'll check out the tent, see if there's anything useful in them. All right. He's like, ah, let the boys do That's their work. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, not see if they got any maps or, you know, like something useful for us to use against them or yeah. anything fancy. Well, they kind of teach out that with them. <sighs> Yeah, find the Orion Scotch. Oh, if they got booze, oh, I'm drinking that right there. <laughs> Alien make booze. Make the Orion drink the bong water. Ooh. Oh, oh, gross. Oh. Yeah, that's gonna make any fought stomach make a uh, biological uh, SMR. <laughs> no, our biologics not that good. <laughs> it's a ten. Yeah, ugh. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Some of us maybe even lower. <laughs> 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 oh, just the thought of it. Just make it yeah, yeah. Easy. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, um, you, you all the pinkies running up behind you, but uh, there is a um, 
uh, debris husk that is uh, on the field. Uh, they're, you know, um, uh, the tentacles. Yeah, it, it's it's just a a um, torso that's out there. <laughs> This is what happens when you're too close to a law rocket going off. Boom. Right. Make sure it's dead. <laughs> you can put some rounds into it to make sure? Probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because of who you are you are and your belief. Yeah. Yeah. The only good alien? There's a dead, dead one. Yeah. <laughs> what are you what are you shooting them with? It's an ACR, right? Hey, yeah, I've got my ACR with me. Okay. So, is it a full magazine or just a squirt or three no, rounds? Just, just a squirt. You know, put a few through the head. Come on, you don't want to waste the head. The head location. Yeah. Well, most of it's been the 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 head unit that was exposed to the law rocket. It's it, the, that AKM Edge helmet. It's not offering any more protection. It's. <laughs> That's it. That's all. We're done. Right. <laughs> So uh, the, your your three round squirt's going to be into these unprotected area of burnt Fentari head. Yep. So you just want to make sure that you're just like pow pow pow. All right. Good right. goop. He's dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're going to see this Jimmy Bob, of course, while you're looking through your scope, going like, "Yep, he finished him." So <laughs> good. Start scanning the area. Yep, the rest of the area now. Jimmy Bob, round up the cavalry. Let's get the rest of the vehicles up here. All right, we're moving. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Had to go with a reload anyway. <laughs> There's no reload. It's that's what I'm saying. I have to go give it, me another. It's just throw the casing on the ground go grab another law rocket. Yeah, I mean, it's... But we couldn't do that because we walked up here. All right. Now we have to go get the vehicle. Right. That's what I'm talking about. So get over, get over there and off you... Get ready to, to off them. Good enough. Pop it up. Oh, we're back. All right. So you guys jump back into the back into the trucks, and the other truck um, comes comes flying up, right? Uh, Cletus, correct? Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. I say Cletus, not Ticker. Come on. Uh, or is it Tigger? I think we're changing your name. No. <laughs> no? All right, never mind. Jeez. I... Uh... Oh, goody. Oh, show Balangy that. He'll like those. Oh, giant jar? Yeah. Well, it's it's the stain, they're, it's the new stained uh, bell jars. They're, they're kind of cool. That's so neat. Okay, yeah. We found it at... Um, What's that place? World Market? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. The, the one on Carlisle. Um, Carlisle in the north, right down, the, right down from the house. We went yeah. down there uh, for, our for our 25th wedding anniversary. We went down there and bought some bought some dishes and stuff for just so we had something to say that we yeah. did that. So we, we bought some dishes and That's we nice. got him a jar. Look, I just haven't seen the different color of bell no. jars. They've got I, orange and yellow ones and, and purple. And green. Yeah, they had the green. Standard. Yeah, they had the green, but they also had like orange and yellow, and then they had purple. So, so many cool. So many people now are using them as Coke and iced tea. Yeah, he's gonna go fill it up with beverage. orange juice, and he'll drink off of that all damn day. So, all right, segue. <laughs> Love it when you go into a barbecue joint, and that's how they serve the cokes. Oh yeah. Yeah. We had barbecue yesterday. Went to Padre Alves. We okay. killed them. We, we killed them. Okay. It was pretty funny. Still have a way to go to catch up to us, but... Yeah. Yeah. Thomas has gotten to where he just... He's just like... <laughs> I know I'm taking taking the girls there when they come into town. Can't go wrong. No. All right. <clears throat> so, vehicle... All right, so we have... Two trucks are going to the house. How, how do you want to handle this now that you've taken out the uh, the two boys? Um, Where is the, I want to talk to Jay. Where's the next people in this perimeter you were talking about? Uh, these two boys here were the only ones that were doing the per, uh, that work. Yeah, that thing. They were doing that. The rest of them were were at the were you know hold up at the house. 
All right. And I know some of my, you know, all my kin are going to want to be in on this, but I, I need to kind of let them know we, we don't have these here fancy well, radios. Then let's, you then let's do this. How, how close can we get to the compound without being heard and seen? In my truck? In any truck. Not very close. I mean... So this is this is what I this is what I suggest. All right, I suggest that we go in after you. You go get all your clansmen together, and then you have them all go shoot up in the air and start hooping and hollering so we can hear them. And we'll come driving in, and we'll we'll all go start kicking butt on everything that ain't fought. We can do that, but how are, you, how are all of you guys going to come in your little truck, or are you going to have some still back here in my truck? We're just, we're, just in case they check you when you show up, we're going to all come in in the, uh, in, in the deuce and a half and in the, uh, and in the pickup. Oh, we're, we're bringing both of our trucks. Oh, okay. yeah. All right, so you're going to drive your deuce and a half, and then... Uh, Kicker is going to be driving in on this Southern Comfort truck. Yep. All right. <laughs> that's not a bad name for it. Y'all, y'all just start hooping and hollering, shooting, shooting up in the air and stuff, and we'll come and charging. And we'll go kick butt on everything that ain't fought. All right. I think we can. I think we can make that happen. That's gonna that's gonna piss off that big old lizard boy in the house. Uh, something fierce. Uh, We're gonna shoot him with a law rocket. What if he stays in the house? I don't want y'all blowing up my homestead. Come on now. It's just collateral damage, man. It ain't nothing new and more. Uh, I don't want to rebuild my house. You better figure out how to get his scaly ass outside. I can do that. You have to. You guys are gonna come a running when we start all shooting up in the air and stuff. Right. All right. So if I have all them, if I have all these guys outside when we're all shooting up in the air and stuff, then you won't blow up my house. But if the lizard's inside the house, I can't make that guarantee. No. No, I have me an idea. I think I'm going to tell them to come outside because we worked out a, a surrendering and you guys come driving up and just start shooting the piss out of them. They won't know nothing know how. And then while we're shooting up in the air, we start shooting them. All right. I like it. <laughs> All right. It sounds like one heck of a ugly clan crossfire on a bunch of dang aliens. Long you get kicked them right off our planet. There you go. All right, I like all this. Right, now, 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 all you all McKillops that know how to use a law rocket need to have law rockets out, and we're going to start shooting aliens with law rockets. Can I pull a Bruce Willis move? Oh. Open the door, stop, uh, put the uh, deuce and a half into a donut, step out with law rocket and shoot as it goes spinning behind you. That's a little bit more skill. You don't want to know the difficulty level of that, okay? <laughs> First off, we're talking Bruce Willis, and he had 25 levels in vehicle, 25 levels of speciality in vehicle. You know, Shooting that, on yeah, top of that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 25 levels of pistol or archaic powder pistol and then 25 levels in that specific pistol he was shooting and there's <laughs> and there's also that thing called dodge what's, what's that Which movie red? red two i don't think i've seen that one it was actually in, it's in red is it red he did it in both i think he did it in both but definitely mm -hmm. in um no it was the original it was red yeah it was the original red you're right yeah. you're right you're right where you're he was setting up uh Yeah, when he was trade. taking out the FBI agent. Well, we, Downtown San Francisco. Yeah, he... 
Yeah, he put yeah, it was right hit. after he got hit saw on the side. I saw the yeah. And then while yeah. he was spinning, he jumps out of the car and just starts lighting off the lighting off rounds into the uh, driver's side windshield of the, the, the car that the other guy was driving in. Yeah. Yep. They both did. Both actors were in. They did good. <laughs> you owe me a hundred million for the plane. You owe me. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was red too. Mm-hmm. And he's like, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. So, all right. So I'm gonna look. So basically, he wants to lure all the aliens outside uh, for a celebration for something, and then they're gonna start shooting in the air. You guys are gonna come up, start wasting them, and then they're gonna start uh, wasting them as well. This ought to be a hoot and hollering time for both clans. Right. Only Fox would come up with this. This is not. This is not something Simon would. He would be like, "This is about the damn dumbest idea I've ever heard of in my life." I'm not playing Simon. <laughs> <laughs> I might start driving at uh, level ten. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Ticker's driving is pretty dang good too. Yeah, so he's up there at seven. Yeah. But he's my son, so you know he had to learn from somebody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't. I, I still don't think Ticker is uh, has uh, surrendered to the idea that you're his Paul. No, yet, he so. hasn't. <laughs> Luke and the drunk had something to do with it. Mm-hmm. Don't know why. All right. So uh, he leaves you guys here. He, him, and his uh, son jump jump into the his big truck with the tracks, and I take you guys pull all the grenades and everything out of his truck and put them distribute them with you guys, right? Yep. All right. So uh, how many people have law rockets and can shoot them? And where are they shooting them from? That's going to be the the other thing. Because oh, everyone's going in vehicles. How are we going to split it up, uh, everyone, the Clan McKillop wise out of two vehicles, Chris? Well, I figure that we can probably get two shooting over the cab from the bed of the pickup, and we can probably get two more shooting over the cab of the deuce and a half. We don't have anyone to shoot the 50 cal, do we? Nope. I mean, we can shoot it. It's just, you know, where is it going? <laughs> mm. <laughs> where is it going? Uh, so, unfortunately, uh, dang, too bad you didn't have time to go by and go get Paul, because he would, he'd probably love to be out here. We for tried this. to bring him. He knew he was the only one that could operate it, but like you said, he had to stay home to. Yeah. Make phone call. Which is a good thing, because now he's made phone call. He's inter- interrogated a prisoner. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Ain't no one interrogating that prisoner. He's in a lockbox in um, Blackie's uh, cave. Now. Yeah, Paul, he left. <laughs> oh, Blackie's going to have two little... Yeah, that's what. What are we doing about the Orion who's been stripped and duct taped and and everything? I guess Blackie's just keeping him in the back of the deuce and a half. And all like, he's mine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, don't don't get his buddy. I know what to do this time. <laughs> well, Uncle Uncle Ned, his wife is good with leather work. Maybe he can make him a gimp suit. Oh. <laughs> Oh, man. That's not right. <laughs> oh, my goodness, that's not right. Good. Oh, hard-hitting, yeah. pipe-wielding. Yeah. Thoughts. Yeah, there you go. Chris made mention to that earlier. He already used that quote earlier. Oh, but it, yeah, it's, it's, it's rather, it's still it's, it's, <clears throat> well used right here, yes. Oh, good. Oh my goodness gracious! All right. Well, that makes me kind of queasy. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Jack doesn't one of your wives do any uh, leather working or something or sewing? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. No, they all, they all do sewing. sewing. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> they do the cooking, the sewing, the 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 cleaning, <laughs> the raising. <laughs> direct fire okay how are you going to shoot while having to drive one of the trucks i ain't going to be driving in uh, it's one of those i'll drive in then i'm going to have to get out to shoot okay or do like we did once before hoping for i don't have a passenger and just roll down the window and go you're going to have a passenger yeah i know yeah, or jack i don't think you want to be launching law rockets out of the cab okay uh zeke do you have direct fire for a wall rocket i don't okay so you're going to be using a ACR. ACR, okay. All right. Um, Pinky. I don't think that... Uh, probably a lot of Does cases. Blackie have direct fire? Good no. Lord, I sure hope not. I don't think so, no. I got two levels in it. Okay. So, uh, Blackie, is, he's got... He's, Right. He's got his ACR and a shotgun and everything, but I really don't see him doing it. I think he's going to want to pacify the yeah. The, well, no, he's going to want to go grab another one. More yeah. likely, I mean, he's oh, hand yeah. to hand, so yeah. you you just call whoever he jumps on. Done. Okay, so he's Good. got he's got his rolls of duct tapes around his wrist and all of his gizmos and stuff. And he's all like, he's got he, that blizzard thing. He, he's got the ram. No, the ram's going to eat law rockets. Yeah, the the biggest target needs to be targeted by law rockets and brought down. So, uh, you know, I don't think Blackie has enough strength to overpower a ram. Unless you're a ram? <laughs> you know, there's very damn few things that do have enough strength to overpower Blackie them. may have ten levels of hand-to-hand, -hand, but... Um, <laughs> Taking on a taking on a python lizard or a ram python in hand to hand, it's it, a bad it, idea. Yeah, there's just no there's nothing good that's gonna come out of this. You're like, I'm gonna duct tape me a ram. No, you're not. No, you're not. That <laughs> ram is gonna curb stomp. You. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna grab onto that ram's arm, and he's just gonna be like, dude, what what are you? He's either gonna headbutt or force his arm onto the ground, and you're gonna go, oh look, I just became a cherry tomato squirt. So. <laughs> When a ram puts all 800 pounds on top of you when he lay, when he decides that he wants to take this to a ground and pound, there's not much you're going to do about it except, you know. And Python goes, bear hug, belly flop! Yeah, right! Oh. <laughs> Yuck. Right. Anyways, the ram's going to eat a bunch of rockets. That's what it, that's what it sounds like. Um, so Zeke, you're using a gun. Uh, Ticker, um, does he yeah. have any direct yeah. fire? I don't think so. No, Tick and that particular vehicle had no direct fire. Your direct fire was in number one and number four. All right. Or number one in the deuce and the uh, four by four. So Ticker will be using an assault rifle as well, I guess, right? I think so. Sounds right. Yeah. Um, and Barney, you you're gonna try and use a law rocket. Blackie, yeah. we know what he's gonna. Uh, Pinky is going to use a law rocket, right? Right. Okay. Uh, Jimmy Bob. My rifle. Okay. All right. Um, Cletus, he's using a law rocket, right? And uh, Jack. Pulse cannon. So I don't think you have quite as many law rockets as you thought there, Cleo. Nope. Sounds like sounds like we got four. So we got Barney gonna get out and shoot one. So we'll put uh, 
two over two over the uh, cab of the pickup, and we'll put uh, me over the uh, over the top of uh, of Barney in the deuce and a half. Okay. So we'll put who was it, Pinky and Jack, or Pinky and Zeke? Sorry, in the pickup with Law Rockets. I can't shoot Law Rockets. Okay, who in the hell did I have wrong here? We had Pinky, Cletus, Barney. I sworn we had one more that should shoot a Law Rocket. I think that's it. Man. That was it. Okay, so we'll put one in the we'll put Pinky Pinky in the uh, in the truck with Ticker, and I'll go stand over the deuce and a half behind Barney, and then we can just go in and create mass chaos. All right. We buy a lot of law rockets yes, we do. <laughs> for only three of us. <laughs> yes, we do. How many do we have? Uh, right now we're down to 17. Oh, darn. Yikes. How many grenades are we toting around? M85. Oh, we're down whole to lot. 150. 120. 50. Yeah. <laughs> no, on the M85s we have. 90? 87, because some have been used. Oh, yeah. On the, the P4s, mines. we've got 10, 20, 30 of them. The P4s, are those the, the white It's blocks? 117 grenades. <laughs> Good. Like I said. You can't blow something up with 117 grenades. There's something wrong with you. And 17 law rockets. <laughs> right. Taking six truck and the deuce and a half, we're leaving the four by four behind. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, the which? We have the deuce, we have six vehicle, then we also have the four by four. The four by four? You mean the farm truck? Yeah, yeah we're not taking the farm truck. We okay. already left that back okay, there. Okay, that, yeah. that's what I was. Yeah. That's why I had to shift. Uh huh. And we switched everything. That's why I uh -huh. shifted all over. Okay. All right, so uh, you guys get all set up inside your inside your vehicles and about uh, it's around the 15 to 20 minute mark and um, up ahead you hear um, what sounds like multiple um, uh, muskets all going off at the same time. <laughs> 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 yes. Oh. Foo foo guns are basically muskets. Okay. Except when you get one modified to where it's belt fed, then it's <laughs> it's no longer really a musket, but you know it's a, yeah. <laughs> it's a Gatling gun. <laughs> it's a rapid fire musket. Right. <laughs> Without using the flintlock. Which doesn't make sense to us gun enthusiasts, but to a fought, it's right in there. So, <laughs> I have me here a semi-automatic musket. That's just an assault rifle at this time. It's a semi-automatic musket. You got it. You got it. Right. <laughs> yes, yeah, semi-automatic musket. That's all you yeah, You know, when you shoot the ears off of a fly, you have the right to call it what you want. Just go for it. So, all right, Chris. You you hear... you? <clears throat> Let's roll, boys. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeehaw! I might not have a speed. I know I'm watching Tico, but... So, is the deuce going to go in first, or is uh, 
uh, ticker with his uh, Southern Cross horn going to go first? Uh, uh, because he's got the speed, he's probably going to be leading the way, and he'll have the, uh, most likely, his slave throw rapids go, but... That's going to get them other rabbits to scatter. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, the deuce can move, but, you know, he's got the quick start on his, so. Nick, are you are, are you there? Do you want to light something on fire? It could be funny as hell. Huh. <laughs> he probably fell asleep. All right. We'll just assume that's what... Uh, Ticker is that kind of a wild guy to lead with his flamethrower, I'm sure, so... Monty, are you back yet? I haven't heard him either. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Yep. Oh, there you go. Trying to find their mute buttons. I do what I was told and basically ready to be the law rocket. When I see a big target, a really big one, I'm shooting. Okay. Oh, I'm glad you're back. All right. Whoops. Yes, I want to light something on fire. Ah, there he there is. There he is. Thank you, sir. He found the mute button. <laughs> Uh, no, actually, I, the mute was off, but I, uh, I was not connected somehow. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Skype on phone. Gotta love it. Yeah. So, um, I guess you heard us. You're going you're gonna to lead the pack and just come fly, fly in uh, yeah. as a lead vehicle. Oh, good. Oh, good grief. <laughs> Oh, yeah, my horns are going to be blazing, too. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't going to be the only thing blazing, but... Um, all right. So um, the, the the word is given. You guys gun it and come flying in. Um, you guys you guys come in again. You're you're coming in off a side road. Okay, so you're going to be entering in basically on the left hand side, uh, off of a little bumpy little side side country road, which means nothing to the. Tickers four wheel drive into your deuce. Blah, 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 blah. So when you guys get into the get into the clearing, you know there's the main house, which is the the Nelson house. It's and it's prominently prominently there. It's in a it's in a clearing. It's basically this their area is like right in the middle of uh, of uh, uh, forested land, and they just made made a big clearing. You know, I'll say like you know. Hundred or so meters diameter of clearing, not that much, but just enough to put a, you know, put a home in where they can hide out in and stuff like that. So, and out in the front, you got several barns there, and uh, probably have some farm areas. Well, they're rabbits, so they have farms all over the place. <laughs> we like our vegetables, so <laughs> except beets. Just can't get into the beat. We try and rebury the beats, but for some reason they keep coming up. So, you know, it's <laughs> apologies for those of you who like beats. I don't. Neither do I. <laughs> Although the dye on is good for you know it's Easter time for dyeing the eggs and whatnot. Uh, there you go. Uh, yeehaw! And um, outside you see. Um, Eleven thoughts, probably about four or five of them are females. Yeah, obviously they're they're Clan Nelson. You can see, um, uh, what's his name, uh, Jay. Jay. 
You can see Jay's out there, and he's got a whole bunch of fights, and they're all, they got foo-foo guns and shotguns and everything, and they're popping up, they're popping up in the air. And, uh, you couldn't, and, uh, Cletus, you couldn't ask for anything more perfect than this. Because Plan Nelson has seemed to have drawn out the, uh, the other guys in armor, the other people, which is seven of them, and they seem to all be like just huddled next to each other on the equivalent of a driveway, and there's like 15 meters of space between them and all the other bunnies. <laughs> speed. That's not going to turn out well for them. So you see... Uh, So what you'll see is what is a is a python race in bare armor with an omega cannon. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> Good. There is another human in AKMB with an assault rifle, another human in Protecon with the assault rifle, a Fentari in Protecon. That has a bunch of swords and two rifles. Um, another um, smaller human, probably an Orion, in AKMB armor with a with uh, what looks like a uh, Walter 2000 sniper rifle across their back. A very small egg-shaped head chatillion in no armor, just standing there. And a, another human in AKMB armor that has a backpack mounted that looks like a pulse cannon. Oh, God. Pulse cannon. <laughs> <coughs> and all this noise is going off and stuff. The Chatillion's sitting there. He's got his hands over his ear, ear equivalents like he's trying to drown out all the noise from the the guns going on. Uh, <laughs> He's just like, oh uh, my god, that is stupid loud. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. This is what we call effective distraction. So, um, you guys pretty much have the have the surprise. <clears throat> so let's go with what the lead vehicle wants to do first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone's going under the wheel. <laughs> oh, I'm the same thing. I know. Hey. And the problem with Chris Balanchy's character is now this little background thing is coming up go where he's like, I love to drive over little helpless things. <laughs> 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 he's like, Law rocking my ass, I'm just going to run him over. Run him over. <laughs> They're sitting there like 10 pins. Right. I'm the right. bowling ball. I'm just trying. Right. Oh, we only right. knocked down three pins. Wash out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, Nick, what would you, what, what, what does uh, your character want to do? Oh, man, I'm running some assholes away. <laughs> oh, but uh, I'm adding a little flame to this mix. So you are gunning it straight forward and lighting off the flamethrower. Heck yeah. Okie dokie, this ought to be stupid. So <laughs> These guys are not going to know what hit them. <laughs> Well, typically they would. I, I would say that um, rules-wise, the Chatillion would tip uh, a lot of people off about incoming events. But the unfortunate problem is he's not paying attention to his yeah. precognitive uh, abilities because there's muskets going off very near him, and he's like, "This is stupid loud. I don't like this at all. Where the hell did the truck on fire come from?" <laughs> <laughs> That was not there a minute ago. Uh, wow. All right. So, so much for stopping vehicle, at least the 
main truck from stopping and unleashing law rockets, we're going to be running people over. <laughs> that, um, that. I don't think you're going to be able to run over the ram, but hey, we can try. <clears throat> You may not be able to run over the python, but um, Side swipe him? You, you, uh, you're going to move him because you guys are in something that has more mass than a python lizard in armor. Yes. Yeah, you're going to mess up the truck bad. No. Yeah, yeah maybe. Like. Might mess no, up. Eh. Yeah, you're going to F up the truck pretty bad. Depends on how you hit him. I ain't going to hit him head on. <laughs> That done. Accelerate, pull the emergency brake, turn right. Five. Bang! We just now we just became a two ton bat. <laughs> <laughs> Batter up, bitches. <laughs> right. Oh, I can't wait for you to run a bitch until the end. It's gonna be great. <laughs> um. So, who has a law rocket that is on the front vehicle? Pinky. Okay. Yep. So, Pinky can get a shot off before um, before uh, the truck decides to start mowing people over. I figured I'd be aiming for the biggest target there. Well, the biggest target would be that python lizard that is now turning its head towards the vehicle and cocking it sideways like, what the... <laughs> 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 Nick, now we need the su- we need the horn. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, I would have thought he would have had the siren ready, but no, he decided to. I, I I can't do it through the phone because I'm on Skype. Oh, because you're on yeah, Skype. Yeah, oh, somebody else uh, did it. For oh, him. did someone else did it for, do it for him? Yeah, someone did. Ah, must have been Dallas. He's the only one who probably could have done that. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, okay, Sashi, so e- 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 her. It's all right. It's Pinky May. Sorry, Pinky May. Um, direct fire. Gotcha. And manual decks two. All right, uh, roll me a percent, please. There you go. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> roll me a percent. Two. Say again, I walked on you. 22. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, roll me a D8. Multiply it by 10. 40. Hmm. Uh, uh, Chris, you know this game pretty well, just as much as I do. Bear armor, ram python, forty points to each location. He, he got. He he probably ain't got arms. Yeah. Oh, he's missing a lot of stuff. Well, concussion transfers through. <laughs> I mean, it's granted. He's he's. It's a python lizard that's in charge. He's in bear armor. He's probably done a pretty decent job of trying to burp it with uh, absorption as much as possible. Um, I don't think he absorbs that much. Well, normally it's twenty six in the main location. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bear armor's got a lot of absorption to it. Yeah. Um, but the arms, that's going to be the issue. Yeah, he's going to blow the arms clean off. That's going to be just... <laughs> there's not enough absorption in the arms to stop it. It's Let's see. Armor absorption is 26 on size class 4. So 26 yeah, times 175... It's not point seven five. That's size class seven. This, these are size class eight. This oh, is flat out double. But you don't double absorption. You double integrity. The number of spaces that are available to add absorption is double, but not the absorption itself. So that's why I was saying he's 
probably done a pretty decent job of burping uh, his armor, so he's pr he can probably survive it as far as head, torso, and legs go, but his arms? He's not taking 40 in the arms. So, I mean, even if he had him burped, absolutely, with not considering any of Vlad Yeah, it's, only, it's only like 28 if you burp out the arms of size class 8 with the spaces available. So, yeah, his, his armor is going to be trashed in the arms. He's... Gonna look like he's also gonna is also gonna have a problem with forty integrity is even doubling the integrity. His bare armor only has forty points of integrity in the chest and abdomen and legs. Only well, has ten points of integrity, twenty points of integrity, sorry, in the arms. So all of his integrity on his armor is gone. I thought the integrity loss was a 10. Oh, is that what it is? It doesn't go off of damage? <coughs> I don't think so. Let me look. I think yeah, I'll look too. Where's my integrity table? Whoops, whoops, whoops. Where'd it go? Nope, 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 nope. There it is. Integrity <laughs> reduction for... Missiles. Oh, for... Okay, so for your standard rocket, it's 25. Oh, whoop, there it is. Anti-take weapons, non-hit point damage. Oh, shit, it's even worse, Chris. <laughs> it is 50 points of integrity reduction. Oh, God. Armor gone. Yeah, yeah. Kerr, boom. Um, wow. If anyone wanted that uh, bear armor, bear armor oh, and wow. the Omega cannon, you can scrap that. That 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 caddy's been scrapped, Clyde. All right. So that was easy. He is he is done. Uh, he's done. Um. Boss character. Good lord, who was all next to him? Let's see. Now, uh, let's see. The first human in the AKMB. He's just gonna take some damage and get thrown down. <laughs> Nothing happens to that it's one. Really gonna hate life with no armor on. <laughs> the Fantari is gonna take about roughly about half. He's gonna be he's gonna be hurting something stupid. The Orion, he's going to be all right. The Cotillion, Ot 7, he was way too close. He was at ground zero. Oh, he right. is dead. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's he's been erased from existence. From existence. He is he is done. The other human, is, oh, he's like the best out of the group. He just moves off. And he's like, wow, that's a large explosion. That's stupid. Then there's the flamethrower that goes off at this time, as if the explosion wasn't enough. Right, Nick? That's right. All right, roll me a percent there, sir. All right. Let's see. Seventy-five. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, yeah. Oh, All right, and what type of flamethrower is it that's on the on his truck? Oh. I'm taking a look. Uh, I think it's on his character sheet. It's a sizzler. Sizzler. Yeah, I believe that's what it is. Yes, it is. Not to be confused with the restaurant. That is no longer in business. Right. I mean, it's not in New Mexico. No, actually, it is. There is a location. This is Down, yeah. Where? Where, dude? Uh, They're all close here in Albuquerque. In Albuquerque, they are. But there's, um, I've seen one, I want to say Alamogordo, hmm. or down in Socorro. No, there ain't no Sizzler in Socorro, unless they open within, like, the past six years. I, I wouldn't know. 
I lived in Socorro for a very brief time. All right. So okay. So uh, oh my goodness gracious, Flawoosh. So the human in AKMB, the human in Protecon, and the Fentari all get uh, lit on fire. Whoosh. Gallop. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, that sounds more reasonable. And then make me a uh, make me a driving check, please, Nick. Oh yeah. This, this is this is gonna be the stupid one. This is where you want the sixty-nine. One ten. Let's see. I need a level three check. Level three. Okay. So after the explosion and flamethrower and everything, your aim was a little off, you veered to the right a little bit, and you end up just clipping the human who is wearing, who is on fire, running around little circles with the AK and BR, where he's like, ah, 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 and then all of a sudden you hit, and you, um, and, uh, you, you end up side clipping the, the snot out of that guy. He gets thrown all over the bloody place. Right. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's that's absolutely fantastic. All right. Choo choo. Right. So Pinky just went. Um, Barney. Cletus is on top with his law rocket. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So I guess uh, Cletus, you want to launch a law rocket? At what? <laughs> There's still a Fentari. Oh, hell yeah, then. <laughs> <laughs> there's still guys laying around on the ground and on fire and stuff, but they're still they're still looking like they're alive. Fentari, meet Law Rocket. Law Rocket, this is Fentari. <laughs> oh, good. Wow. All right, roll me a percent, please. 53. Oh, Jesus H. Monkey Christ, that's expensive <laughs> and oh, oh but don't worry chris he's he's wearing protect on so he's well protected against uh load in, uh, against uh low yield integrity type uh rounds my uan is 91 <laughs> okay all right a d8 yes sir D8 times 10 to this poor sap. This is going to be stupid. 70! <laughs> wow! <laughs> pew, pew! <laughs> so the human that's right next to him and they protect on as well is... Um, Probably wasted. Yeah, he's he's done for. It's just black, 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 black. Um, Blackie doesn't have anything to attack because he's cowering back underneath the vehicle to keep from being set fire. on fire. He's all like, oh, I'm not getting out of the vehicle right now. Explosions and flamethrowers, no. <laughs> That's right, he's like deathly scared. Of fire, yes, right? yeah, yeah. He's all like, nope, I'm not getting out of the vehicle for now. <laughs> Nope, 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 nope. Um, right, so now we know how to keep back Blackie from molesting someone. We set them on fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Trust me, this is better. <laughs> put a white coat on them. Right. Or put a white coat on them, yes. Yeah, that's... Oh, good. Uh, Jimmy, I would say that you have a target, but you freaking don't, dude. Just, just deal with it. <laughs> I can deal with this. This is impressive enough. <laughs> Looking through a scope, all the cars moving, smoke, fire, explosions, flamethrowers. No, no, you, you don't have a target. Jack, same with you. You're just going to have to eat it, dude. <laughs> uh, Blackie doesn't do anything. Cletus is all done. So um, the other vehicle, Barney, you're just, yep. coming, you're just following... Tail lights as he is like, bam! And you're like, I don't want to go to the right, I want to go to the left! <laughs> I got whatever, roll over, run over, set the parking brakes on, whatever's moving. What's your total skill? I have 10 levels. You have 10 levels, okay. So it's 150 <coughs> days plus your, I think uh, it's agility that um, driving goes off of. Manual dex. Oh, is it manual dex? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
So what's your skill bonus on manual dex? Skill bonus on manual dex is 05. Five That's points. it? I only there. have 74 in the manual. Oh, ah, yeah. that, would, that would be it. So you have a 155. You're doing the power. emergency brake lift power slide trick in a deuce and a half. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, dude. All right. Go for it. This ought to be... Eh. 88. 7. 6. Man. Yeah. You needed at least a 10, dude. Yeah. But uh, you're not going to slide sideways. It's going to slide more forward and go... Yeah, 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 yeah. Break adjustment. Right, right, right. I'm uh, uh, going to miss him... Oh, ought to the poor human male. The, the the remaining human male in the AKMB becomes one with the dually tires. <laughs> uh, right, right. And then, um, <laughs> so unfortunately, you're going to come to a stop because you power slid through. Yeah. Uh, uh, Nick didn't slow down for nothing, so he just keeps on. <laughs> I, I just keep going. Yeah, he's just going to go forward and try and turn around at some point. Um, all the remaining thoughts are shooting up in the air. There's like 11 of them pointing guns at this poor Orion, and they can't be already <laughs> like, oh, balls. <laughs> Smoke your last one there, dude. He's, he's just laying on his back from getting out of the way from the flamethrowers and everything. Oh, like, wow, that was... Oh, my God. Yeah. And then there's an earth-shattering kaboom from 11 foo-foo guns going off at the same time. No, Ryan, left over. No, no, um... There's racist, and that's what all thoughts are. Our, right. All thoughts are racist. But then there's people who roll things like you do. You go beyond racist, okay? You're 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 the Louis Farrakhan of thoughts, okay? <laughs> like he said, you're our grand marshal. Right. You are the grand marshal. There you go. Let's <laughs> burning crosses and wearing a white hood. There, there you go. Perfect, or, or right? Whatever a bunny, whatever bunnies wear for a hood, but whatever, sure, sounds good. Hey, fuck that. The fuck fuck clam, yeah. The, the FFF. The FFF. <laughs> you put a pointed cap with a bun on yours. That makes a W. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it does. <laughs> So, um, uh, and that's why I have to join because he can tell because I'm any ear. So, you guys bowl, you guys end up bowling over these, these, these goobers. Wow, I thought it was going to be a much better fight than that. That was really anti climactic. Just run, <laughs> just the, just forget it. Just fought, runs right over, right through them, over everything. Just uh, a couple of law rockets. And the encounter is done. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, the rest of you, everyone starts pouring out of the vehicles just in time to see an Orion riddled with, you know, uh, 11 48 caliber uh, muskets at the same time. I mean, it's not going to be much. Chris, do we, we wanted to describe how much damage that possibly could be? Uh, I think we just write him off. Yeah. <laughs> I think that turns into a giant splat. Yeah. Pretty much. Or he's just going to have like a gaping hole through his chest. Well, they didn't just shoot the chest. These are fought. They went for every limb they could, piece that they could put a hole into. Head, crotch, stomach, heart, <laughs> face. <laughs> just ear, <eyeball>. everything. <laughs> They're like, ah. Yeah. You're not getting up, bro. Yeah, just, just give it up. And we don't have to worry about any backup because, well... No. <laughs> yeah, you see that uh, asteroid falling <laughs> through the atmosphere? Yeah. Right. That shining star. So all you guys, so you guys all get out of, get out of the trucks. Uh, the clans, uh, clan Nelson is all like, yeah, here we go. And shooting their guns up in the air and jumping up and down on top of remains of, uh, 
big, ugly, nasty things. And uh, Cletus, I, I know you wanted that Omega cannon, but someone with a law rocket said no. <laughs> Bummer. Yeah. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> and I just ain't no chance that it, it could be salvaged, is there? Uh, no. 50 points of integrity to of damage to any weapon system renders it useless. Useless? Oh, well. If there's anything left of yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, you, you, we're talking anti-tank weapons that were used on a personal weapon. I mean, y yeah. yeah. Smoke. So, uh, The Clan Nelson is so happy, they get out the, uh, they get out their uh, their moonshine and uh, they decide they want to share up. cases of of moonshine with you guys. While they decide to uh, get the communication center from the uh, from the group and uh, you know mm -hmm. they, uh, they decide that they're going to uh, give that to uh, those smart fellers over at Clan Buckle so they can analyze it and use that to maybe call in some more ships. We need more test subjects. So <laughs> <laughs> what, we, what we really need to do before we start drinking the moonshine, boys, is we need to go put our eggs out and claim the rest of our territory. There you go. Yep, and they have no problem with it. They're all very happy that you guys came over to help and get rid of the aliens. You set your eggs up at, you know, 20 meters away from their front door, and they're all right. All right, guys, I'm out. All right, Nick, we'll talk. We'll see you next week, hopefully. See Thank you, guys. Yep, for sure. See you, brother. <laughs> Always. So, um, so yeah. So the egg gets the egg gets set up, um, and then the. The last thing that uh, one of the uh, one of the elder females for um, Clan Nelson, she comes out and she has this great big wicker basket. It's like three feet in diameter, just a huge basket. She sets it. She sets it down, and and she says and, and she says there can be no better gathering of the absorption of our clan into that of Clan McKillops that says anything better than a Good old egg hunting. Eggs, multicolored eggs, start popping out of the, out of the basket. And us being rabbits just have to jump for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chased after the egg. And every and everybody here starts jumping at eggs. Yay! <laughs> and that turns into the egg, and that turns into the end credits for, the Fox Easter special. We hope the people. Everyone. We hope the people online uh, enjoyed this little short today, but we got through this story. So, um, you asked for more thoughts. We we gave you more thoughts. <laughs> we'll see what other kind of uh, thought, We'll see what other kind of thought adventures we can uh, think up of. Uh, maybe Christmas. Yeah, Christmas at the McKellops. Oh Why Santa Claus comes down the chimney instead of the front door? No, there ain't no alien Santa Claus coming down our door. Oh man, <laughs> that is why he comes down the chimney instead of the front door. I didn't know it was deer season. <laughs>